Uh, so I've fitted this floating shelf, which looks like it's turned out very well. Certainly, um, certainly it's very level. What we did was we, we layered up to two bits of um, 18 millimeter thick birch ply, which we, we grooved with a router all the way through, and then cut this bit after we glued it together uh, with the grooves sort of face to face to create slots, we cut this bit off the back of the shelf. So this was part of the shelf assembly there. We then lipped to the front, sanded it, uh, painted it. And that, that bit there we, know, we knew was uh, a, a jig for the position of the holes. So we then, off, well, I, I've offered that up to the wall, drilled through it uh, to receive um, 10 millimeter threaded bar. We're talking this, this sort of stuff, 10 millimeter threaded bar which we pre-cut to length. What I found was these walls are so soft, there's some sort of very soft block work that I only needed to drill with an eight millimeter bit. And then I could, I could knock these in uh, to make the hole bigger. I then took them out, put some, some resin in. Um, so that's a two part, two part resin, which cures quite quick. Put that in the hole, I put that in the holes in the shelf, pushed it on put some sticks all in the back, which sticks and seals to most things. Put sticks all around the back, then, then wiped it off for a good, a good sort of um, sealed back edge. And I'm just propping it until the resin goes off on the bars uh, to, to hold that straight. Now my next, my next challenge is fitting a big floating desk along here. The way I'm gonna do that is with these, these are called Hegbo, I forget if it's Hegbo or Hebgo, it's uh, a heb, Hebgo brackets from Hayfully. These come gray primed, but we've sprayed them white. So these are gonna alternate with, um, you see that? yeah, they're gonna alternate with those supports all along the back, and then there'll be supports on the short wall. And then we'll have what will appear to be a floating desk surface, which will be made up of two bits of 25 millimeter MDF, uh, jointed and then with a, a sort of thick lipping on the bottom, pocket hold up. Um, again, I'm having trouble with this soft, this soft wall. So I, I had planned to use these uh, concrete anchors, which I often use. You, you drill a hole just a bit smaller than what they need and they actually thread into the, the block work. But I found the, the blocks are so soft that these, they're just not gonna hold, they're just, just kind of breaking up as they go in. So I'm trying instead with these expansion anchors, um, which are meant to be an eight mil hole, but I'm doing a seven mil hole. Uh, and they're going in and then I'm also just putting some sticks all around them and pushing the sticks all in with it as it goes in in the hopes then that I get a good enough anchor so because if I don't it's, it'll be a bit, a bit of a disaster with this big heavy desk with no mid support so uh, wish me luck and I, I hope when it's on TV it all looks good and is still in place. I've got a couple of different scribing tools here that I'm going to use. Now I've got quite a, quite a big scribing allowance on this top. So I've worked out I want to take about 30 millimeters off there because if I take 30 mil off there, I've got about another 30 mil to take off the top that goes there. And that's going to place these pre-cut cable outlets about the, an equal distance from either end. So I'm going to give this new profiler scribing tool a try. I've set it roughly to where it needs to be and I'm just running it along there. It's nice that, smooth ball bearings. So that's giving me that shape, around about 30 mil off the wall. I'm gonna use this, this tool, which I've had in my toolkit for some time. It's called the Simple Scribe. It's very handy, you have different scribing distances based on which flat face you reference off and you just screw your pencil into the end there. So I'll just take one of these um, smaller gaps, I think, and just run that along the back. But I need to get that one tight to the first.
So I've filled, sanded and rolled some more primer on the surface here. And then this is this is after a bit of denibbing after the first coat of primer. Of course, this was pre-primed in the workshop as well. We're getting a bit of what's called telegraphing through. So I think it's to do with how where it's sanded back a little bit to the MDF through the original primer. That swells a little bit when the next coat of primer goes on. So I've just denibbed it a bit more and I thought I'd brush coat this one on. You'll need a good denib again. But I'm just trying to make sure to really cover it in primer and hope that it starts to even out as we build up the coats. So we're doing the final bits of snagging in the property and uh, the office that is now done. So I thought I'd show you with, with the, the dressing. So this is where the real flair of the, the interior designers that are, that are brought in to really uplift the, the final layout of the house. This is where their strengths come into play, just making things look a lot, a lot prettier than they would have done otherwise. So regarding the desk, I mean, it's really just, it's just the background, isn't it? It's just the background of the space, but it does work very well. Um, it has turned out nice and solid. It's had a final coat, brush coat, put on by the decorators. Uh, so it's not the most perfect finish. It's not like the spray painted finish that we've got on this one. But uh, it, it looks very good. It gives the right overall impression. It has ended up straight and flat and strong enough. Uh, the supports are still visible underneath. <laughs> but you would never normally crouch down to see them, so it doesn't really matter a great deal. You've also got wires that are bunched up there. In terms of the strength of it, it's good and strong. This one with the, um, the rebar mounting method, also very rigid. So no problems with the strength there. Uh, so well, you, may, you may have seen this on TV. Um, you might want to look it up, look up the whole house renovation. It's quite a transformation that's been done. Thank you for, for watching and I hope that the details of this, this little part of the build have been interesting to you. Mm -hmm.